Welcome to my world. some stuffed bell peppers for the crock pot today. I have an onion, three beautiful bell peppers, ground beef, and some garlic salt black pepper supreme. Just a few teaspoons. It's to your taste and preference. We do about two and a half to three. We're also going to use a jar of sauce or can, whatever I have in the cabinet below for the base of the crock pot. You're going to get your crock pot plugged in and set to low because it's going to simmer all day in your crock pot. If you want to sear your beef, go ahead. We don't. We just put it into the bell pepper as is, and it will marinate all day and cook all day in the crock pot, and it will be completely done and extremely flavorful. We get the onion prepped. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. I went ahead and prepped the part of the onion. I took the peels off. I sliced either end, as you see here, and I sliced the middle and peel it free. I'm going to get this cut up. I grabbed the eggs because you're going to need two of them for the mixture for the inside of the bell pepper. And I'll show you how to cut out the bell pepper where you waste nothing but the insides and you, you get to use the entire bell pepper. Go ahead and slice down the middle. And I do long and short. Grab yourself a decent sized bowl. I'm going to rinse the cutting board and we're going to prep the bell pepper. These we got on sale at ShopRite. They were beautiful. We got the loose ones for a great buy. You can check out our grocery hauls. We do ShopRite, Walmart, BJ's, Price Chopper occasionally, and Hannaford. Those are the supermarkets near me. And Dollar Tree separate from the grocery hauls and the Dollar Tree haul playlist. Look how beautiful they are. Now, when you cut the pepper as close to the edge, like the onion, if you know how to regrow food and you have a place for garden, which I don't. I'm going to keep this part of it, this snapped off really fresh. You can save this from compost or for your garden. And look how beautiful that is. And I'll rinse them because I only rinsed them when we're about to use them. Because the water, if you rinse them in advance, will add to the moisture and they rot faster. If you're a vegetarian, you can use rice. Plugged in and set to low, as you can see here. And it's hot already, so be very careful. We're going to pop open our sauce and add in most of the jar to the bottom of the crock pot. And then we're going to place down little crowns from the bell pepper, because this is what they're going to sit on in your crock pot all day long. So try not to mangle them. Get this popped open, and then some of it's going to go into the meat mixture as well. The new uh, selfie stick that my husband got for me as an early birthday present. It also will work with my Nikon DLSR D3500 when I'm doing photography, so it's pretty awesome. 
That is about as much as you're going to put in. And I have about a tablespoon or so left in the jar from the mixture. You already went ahead. And by now you should have your onions in your bowl. The other part of the onions can be used within a different dish. Plop them on in. And there's a close-up. Go ahead and add in the rest of the sauce. A couple of tablespoons. A little more than I expected. A couple of eggs. The garlic salt, black pepper supreme. If you don't have the supreme in your home, to your taste with your favorite spices. I'm going to add the panko. I'm going to eyeball it in. I'm not much for measuring unless I'm baking. A little over a cup to start. My ground beef, again, if you went ahead and seared your beef first, that's fine. Crock pot will do all the cooking and it's just as flavorful without that step and less dishes. This is going to be a one pot slow cooked stuffed bell pepper. And you're going to take your clean hands and you're going to combine everything in the bowl. I won't put any onions within the crock pot because my husband's really not a big fan. That's why we did a little bit of onion. Continue to mix well until everything's well combined. If it feels wet, you can always add on more panko. I think this is going to be perfect. A cup of panko. Or whatever you have on hand. Breadcrumbs, homemade breadcrumbs. You can do stove top and make a, a stuffing, stuffed bell pepper. Do a rice mixture, vegan style, vegetarian style. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to stuff the bell peppers. I'm going to stuff the bell peppers. Grab your bell pepper and I got a scoop. And stuff them. That's what it looks like. And we're going to place it into the crock pot. Sit it on one of the crowns so it stays. Look it. Pretty cool. We're going to stuff the other two, get them into the crock pot, cover the crock pot, and it's going to cook on low all day. And I'll show you what it looks like later when they're all done. I'm going to probably serve mine with rice. Grab your bell pepper. And there's going to be meat mixture left over. And I'll make a miniature meatloaf. Always be careful with the rims of the crock pot because it does get very hot very quickly. And for the third bell pepper, look how beautiful these are. Go ahead and put that last one in. Be very careful. It is extremely hot. About six hours, the beef will be done. You can use your thermometer, about 155, 165 between the area. The beef will be fully cooked. No need to sear. A true one pot. Five ingredients, stuffed bell peppers, awesome comfort food. Keep it covered. 
And we're not going to waste that extra beef. With your clean hands, just gather up the rest of the beef here. Or you can make a couple of miniature meatballs. You know, I think my husband would love a meatball. So let's do some meatballs. About that size. With your clean hands, roll them up into a ball. I'm going to have to do a meatloaf video. It's been a while. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. You're going to take these meatballs and put them into the crock pot. Just make sure they're all about the same size. Wash my hands and we'll place them into the crock pot. Your meatballs that we just rolled up. Pour your meatloaf, drop them in the front. I stopped doing them in the oven. I do do them in the oven on occasion because you are saving electricity and energy in your home, reducing your bill. Just let them cook with the bell peppers all day. And you can have a meatball on the side. I know my husband will snack on them. Or you can freeze them for another day and make meatball subs. This is the hat, rice from Dollar Tree. It's Eat Regal. They also carry it at my BJ's, which is like the Costco's I've seen. And Target. This rice cooks perfectly every single time. It's 8.8 .8 ounces. And look how beautiful that rice is. Now I'm going to take a bell pepper out and put it onto the plate of rice. My husband doesn't want any rice, and I love rice. You can turn your crock pot all the way off. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. Amazon, eBay, Burger King, McDonald's, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Walmart, and Dollar Tree gift cards. $10 amounts. Just going to scoop that up. Bell pepper is soft to the touch. And it's extremely hot. So be careful and do not burn yourself. Some of the meat fell out. Just kind of sprinkle it on over there. You must be subscribed in U.S. residents. If you're new, you must comment and become a part of the growing community. Please be kind. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes through the mail. If you won in the past 60 days, you got to wait out 60 days. If you've won and you don't answer within two, you'll be disqualified. We're looking for 10 people to give out a five items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. Here's what it looks like. It is piping hot. So let it cool way down. Perfect stuffed bell peppers over a bed of rice. We're on Instagram. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. We're on Facebook. I have a page and group. Check that out. Make sure you like and join the playlists are all listed down below with the rules to the giveaways thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i look